Our, we're going to start the uh, public safety subcommittee meeting. It, uh, please say, uh, state the agenda here. First item and only item on the agenda is Council Order 16-303, the inter-municipal agreement between the cities of Chelsea, Revere, and Winthrop to enable the creation of the North Suffolk Public Health Collaborative. Okay, I, I think we're going to do this. We'll do this a little different. We'll have the mayor come up and um, and state exactly, give us the uh, facts of what, uh, just what it is and uh, how it got started. Everything you. So, uh, uh, thank you, Mr. You. Chairman. This was a item that the council might remember from our budget deliberations. Uh, there was an amount of, I think, believe thirty thousand dollars put into the budget for a, uh, a regional, uh, regional collaborative um, uh, position. And this is actually uh, something that has been talked about for six years. So uh, manager Ambrosino was mayor uh, at the time that this was originally talked about. So um, this has gone through a couple of different uh, administrations and a couple of iterations. Uh, we are getting to the point where this is um, everyone's kind of on the same page, and I've worked uh, very uh, well with uh, Manager McKenna in Winthrop and Manager Ambrosino in Chelsea, and uh, this is a priority for all of us. And to to be able to share uh, information and resources and be able to work together uh, really uh, is a no-brainer, uh, and it's something that we had we had talked about, as I said, during uh, budget deliberations and. Uh, we hope to get the support of the council to allow uh, uh, the signature and allow um, us to enter into uh, this intermunicipal agreement. Thank you. Um, excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Um, just what will be their function? So they're going to be doing regular assessment of uh, each um, community's needs and then the communities as a whole in terms of uh, uh, what the priority should be uh, regionally, because obviously, uh, if we think about uh, an issue like the opioid epidemic, and I'll, I'll use that as kind of a uh, one example, uh, it obviously doesn't have any political boundaries, doesn't have any uh, uh, community boundaries. It's an issue that knows um, knows no boundaries, uh, whether they be de um, economics or. Uh, 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 population. So to be able to uh, make those assessments for each community and have uh, a, a coordinated effort uh, on a regional level would be, would be helpful. Okay. Anybody on the council? Any other co committee members first? I don't, I don't know. If... Are you okay? uh, all right. Go ahead. Councilor Rotondo. I think it's a great idea. I think um... As the mayor has pointed out, uh, doing so allows us to have a greater breadth on uh, public health issues, in particular not only addiction, but when it comes to the issues in the past that uh, we have dealt with regarding norovirus and things of that nature, or for that matter the SARS virus, where we would have to do uh, mass inoculation. Uh, the, this is clearly the, the, the value of such a program, and I fully support it. Okay, thank you, Councillor. Uh, on my committee is uh, Councillor Granasso, Councillor Keefe, Councillor Novoselsky, and Councillor Powers. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. you, you got the floor. <laughs> go ahead, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Certainly uh, recognize the, uh, the need for such a thing in, in today's world. It's, it's uh, when you get numbers together, it, it's uh, better effort when you have more people that are uh, seeking a common goal. In this particular case, this is, this is a great partnership, and I might add that, as the mayor alluded to, a former mayor, Ambrosino, is our partner in Chelsea, so we know we're being led in the right direction with his, his guidance, and certainly know the people of the town of Winthrop uh, are also uh, thinking of the same uh, type of uh, thing that we're trying to plan and gain for our community. And I, I think the collaboration would be uh, an unbelievable effort to help in whatever the case might be. You know, once we form this agreement, 
uh, we've got a partnership there that to be it could be expanded upon for other av other er areas of uh, even going to purchasing of uh, products and it, it's just a, a great opportunity you think of like uh, Walmart how do how are they successful it's because they have places all over the world and they can buy in quantities uh, and so when you when you, when you expand your authority and, and get this kind of leverage you can really do well thank you mr. chairman anybody else in the uh, council Keith uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I do have a question for the mayor, if you, if you would uh, be able to answer. Uh, well, and I do, I do agree. Uh, anytime you're as a community, we're able to pool resources uh, with uh, neighboring communities um, and streamline so, some of these uh, processes or some of the uh, duplicative efforts. I think it's really good, and, and it could save us money, obviously, and it could save us some resources. Just out of curiosity. Um, what would be the, I, I guess, using this position and sharing it with the two other communities, what would be the number one or two, the top few priorities that this position would have, one, and two, um, wh who, would they, what would the reporting structure be? Would it be reporting to uh, the mayor's offices? Would it be reporting to the local um, health officials, m maybe Nick Canazzo, or who would be um, responsible for the oversight of this? So the, the agreement... Uh, hasn't we haven't gotten that far in terms of the the um, how, the structure necessarily? Uh, the idea is to get this on on the board so that we can assess what our priorities would be. I, I mentioned the opioid epidemic because I know that's an issue that uh, has hit each community. Uh, there are certainly other um, uh, other priorities, and you know, probably a needs assessment that will need to be done, uh, and we will have the help of. I think MGH, uh, and they, they do a, uh, an annual needs assessment for each community. So uh, the idea is to be able to look at, look at those, understand what those priorities are, and then um, you know, have, a, have a structure that would work with our boards of health and with our, our um, health departments as, as we're constructed currently. And then you know, hopefully, and, and Councilor Guanasso had mentioned it, there might be opportunities for other, for other um, areas to expand into. But uh, for now, it's going to be uh, uh, kind of addressing or looking at what our priorities are going to be, assessing uh, the needs of each community. And I know that, the, uh, as I said, the opioid epidemic is one that I know is, in, is a priority for, uh, for each community now. Uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, childhood obesity is, an, uh, is another, you know, uh, issue that uh, we have been trying to tackle as a community, and uh, I'm sure other the other uh, communities can uh, speak to what they what they view as uh, their priorities. But this isn't. I, I guess we're not. None of the communities, and it, this has been kind of helpful in terms of working with uh, Manager McKenna and Manager Ambrosino, is that none of the communities have. Kind of said, this is what we want to do. It's it's let's get together, let's work together, and then figure out. Let, let's look collectively at what our what our uh, needs are and what what our priorities are as a region and not just as a community. So uh, that will those are things that will be hashed out, and we can be sure to keep the council up to date. And we're obviously going to keep um, uh, the community up to date in terms of what what is happening. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. That's it. Council Powers. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I uh, fully intend to support this. Uh, one of the uh, reasons for that is uh, over the past several decades, uh, there has been uh, talk about uh, the problems that stem from a company like Wheelabrator uh, with regard to lung diseases, cancer, etc. Uh, in the particularly in the uh, Lower Revere Street, Oak Island, uh, Point and Pines uh, areas, and I, I certainly uh, hope that uh, this is one uh, of the uh, problems uh, that uh, you'll be monitoring and, and uh, making comparisons between that uh, area and perhaps uh, Chelsea and Winthrop. And, and I think uh, when that is done, uh, that will just uh, show that there that. Willebrader, which was just given another extension by the DEP uh, to expand their ash landfill down there. Uh, I just hope this is one of the areas that, uh, you know, uh, you'll be looking at. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Um, I just got a few questions. I, uh, as far as the structure, 
Uh, now, I know we budgeted, you know, being a member of the Ways and Means Committee, uh, we budgeted 30000 for, uh, I believe, a salary. Um, and, you know, I want to go back to the fire control, uh, the fire, the call taken center. Uh, when we first put it together, we had Chelsea, Winthrop, Revere, and everything was fine until Chelsea backed out. And then um, we had to come up with more money uh, on our end. Um, we have 30000 uh, budgeted, and uh, is this... Uh, going towards one salary, or is this going to be more than one employee or, or one member of this committee? Or? This is going to be one employee. One employee. Uh, one employee. So do we have the word of, uh, I mean, I don't want it to happen again that we put up about uh, 30 grand and then uh, somebody backs out and we've got to come up with 60 grand. So that's grand. why we, uh, we would sign the, the IMA, which would, um, the intermunicipal uh, agreement, which would bind the three communities together. And uh, in the instance of the REC, the Regional Communication Center, uh, there, this is before my time, but there was, uh, there, there was a point where Chelsea had backed out before an IMA had been signed. So we're at the point where we're going to sign an IMA. I don't think, there are no communities that are going to, uh, back out at this point and this isn't on the same kind of level of of that you know that was a big a big, uh, big money. Uh, take on you know yeah. it, was, it was a big uh, operational uh, uh, piece to, to regionalize and we're still working through through that and um, this is a little bit smaller in scale and I think this is probably more uh, ha has a much better chance of being successful quicker than the regional communication center well, and other than that, I have. I think it's a great idea, and I hope it uh, all looks success in the world. I'm uh, in favor of it, but I, and uh, I think we'll uh, we'll vote on it tonight. Uh, vote of the committee first. I guess we'd have to have a vote of the committee. All in favor? All opposed? All in favor? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right. Thank you, the council. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> Uh, that'll be the end of the uh, Public Safety Committee.